7-Eleven is sick and tired of staying in California. They kind of want to leave, and I don't blame them. In fact, dozens of 7-Elevens in the past few years in California have closed down because of mass theft. Look at this. California thieves strike three 7-Eleven stores in under 20 minutes. Hours after Gavin Newsom signed the landmark package to stop smash and grab crime. This is happening everywhere. This is becoming very common. In fact, thieves in California no longer have any fear of the law. Because one, ever since the whole defund the police situation, there's really not enough cops in many of the major metropolitan cities. And two, the shoplifting laws and organized crime laws in California are so incredibly lax. You go shoplift under almost $1,000 and you'll be fine. And that's if you get caught. I swear, the only people that get caught in California for ransacking and looting are people who like shoplift like a quarter million or half a million dollars worth of goods. Only those guys get caught. But of course, you also have these 7-Eleven robberies. Cops don't care. The city doesn't care. Three 7-Eleven stores hit after just a few minutes. That's crazy. And California is doing nothing to stop it. Even in Oakland, things are not good. In fact, recently, two 7-Eleven stores are closing in Oakland because of these smash and grab attacks. It's happening way too frequently. And what's even scarier is these 7-Elevens also have store insurance, which now many stores and small businesses are getting dropped from insurance companies because of mass theft and organized crime. And I'm sure these 7-Elevens pay some of the highest insurance premiums in the entire nation because of all of this crime. And look at this, guys. In San Francisco, in California, you can't even pump your gas with just peace in mind. Okay, this is seemed to be in a pretty decent area. The gas station looks pretty good. But the dude is literally just pumping gas and gets his two luggage suitcases stolen. This is the type of where we live in. I can't even seem to go to California and pump my gas just without worrying my stuff being stolen. It's happening all the time. If you think this is bad, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is actually not that bad of a situation. You have tourists being robbed. You got several tech events, which techies get their expensive cameras and laptops robbed and stolen. Now you have mom and pop stores being looted constantly. And even when stores get looted and destroyed and even burnt down, the city really doesn't really do anything and nobody really gets prosecuted. It truly is a lawless state. Look at this, guys. Residents of Oakland's retirement community is targeted by robbers. So it's no longer the 7-Elevens and the tourists and the people pumping gas. Even senior citizens are now being targeted and robbed by individuals. This is an all-time low for California. I mean, robbing stores and small businesses and individual people is already bad enough. Now people are just targeting the elderly really is pretty sick. So that's what we're seeing here. And nothing is really done. And you kind of see why stores like 7-Eleven want to get out of California. They do not want to stay in this place ever. And look at this, guys. Even Target is now closing down several of their stores. The Target in Oakland has shut down. Three closed down in San Francisco, and the remaining ones have their self-checkout stations stripped because of constant shoplifting. Right now, San Francisco is going through a massive crisis. They are desperate for something to change. And despite this package that Newsom signed, it's not going to stop the smash and grab crime because the attitude is just there, right? Thieves are no longer scared. You know, you can't really seem to be doing this stuff in places like Florida or Nevada or Texas. Impossible. I mean, obviously there's petty crime, there's theft in every single city in the world, but there's a difference between the occasional petty theft here and there and then the massive big strikes of robbers, looting and ransacking that California is presenting. California has a big shoplifting syndrome. And of course, smash and grabs is on the rise with entire gas stations being completely looted and stripped of its goods and items. And hey man, if I own a gas station, convenience store, or retail store in California, I'll be pretty scared 24-7. Thanks for watching guys, comment below. What do you guys think about California? 
Do you think they could change or not?